Hey friends, we're gonna try this guy again. If it goes well, maybe I'll turn it into like an intro or something, just so that uh, people get the notification and get time before I start playing immediately. I give up. We'll get it one of these days. Or actually, if I just do this and uh... Keep going back. Nights. It's another episode of Paper Mario. All right, let's do Paper Mario time. What's going on, man? Um, I forget where we were. We're looking for differences. Oh, this was the weird one where, like, everything was different. Yeah, because here there's only one rock, right there, and it's a big one. What the heck was that? Here, there's a big rock and a little rock. Eh, not much. Work stuff, but good work stuff. Oh wait, that one's a big rock, not a little rock. But see, it's in a different spot. There's an open area right there. What's this? Oh. Maybe that's the difference. Oh, oh. dang it. That legitimately scared me a little bit. Obi Turtle Go! Puppy just got a bath. Ooh, turn the light off. Yeah, we can do that. <sighs> we need to find a job stuff. Oh, there we go. Thank you, thank you for the lights, Rogue. <laughs> Oh, 
probably should have uh, not a save state before that, but whatever. No, that was legit. I, I thought maybe they were going to lie to me. <laughs> Now, just in case. Oh. Oh, snizzap. Okay. Safe? Why not? It's over here. Oh, he's gonna yell at me if I go. Should I just go right in? What's this? I feel like I can do something with that. Yeah, we'll just go right in. We'll listen to the ghost man. Ghost man. Let's explore a little bit. Jerks. Should I jump on them? How, how do I get hurt by that? If, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I mean, not again, but of course I was gonna check that other one. What's this? Can I ring the bell? No. No ringing of the bells. Yeah, I don't know 
know how the hell I got that. What? No, don't. Okay. Sure. No. But I don't have whatever's missing from the frame. Looks like it's just that ghost. Five clicks. What? Really? This game's just trolling me. Oh, okay, it didn't even hurt me. Let's put the record on. Yeah, I'll put the record on. You gotta have rhythm. Dick thing to do. That guy was like, I'm guarding this for someone, and Mary was like, mine now. Sucks to be you, buddy. I'm gonna steal this. Watch this. Good boy. That wasn't, there's not, like, not even anything in there. This is... This is a boom. Uh... Can't jump up there. Can't smash things with this. Guess I'll go in. You have no. I feel like they are important. Nope. All right. What? Uh. Okay. Guess what this is gonna be? A trap. Top. What's this? Gimme. 
probably the guy right next to him. Sure, that's the guy, that guy too. No, I didn't mean to hit him. Oh, you, I did have the right guy. Ghost man. Uh, but what if I buy stuff anyway? Oh. Okay. Who wants to get that at some point I get to become not Mario? See, see what they did there? See how very good and it works? Oh, I bet I can smash these guys now. Oops. Super mushroom. Get rid of that mistake. It's stupid. It's dumb. Oh. Yeah. Uh. I'm gonna smash some of this stuff. Oops. I'm gonna smash this one first. Okay. Maple syrup. What does maple syrup do? Whatever it is, it's better than this dusty hammer. Oh, that thing disappears. So Alex, if you're still watching, I'm thinking about doing um, some scary games. Maybe this weekend. And I've never finished Silent Hill 2, so I think I'm going to play that game, because it's... Pretty much everyone agrees it's like one of the scariest games out there. surprises. I have something really cool planned. I'm not sure if I'll have the time to pull it off. But, uh... If you notice, I'm streaming and, it, you know, like, the title says something that's... What's this? And the title's, you know, like, Silent Hill or whatever. Um, or even if you don't watch it live, check out the past broadcast or whatever of it, because... Hoping to do something pretty darn cool with it. it. Sucks I can't use any of this. Holy crap, 15 HP? How about that? Uh, this 
throw away the tonic. It's a hole. Well, I don't really have enough viewers anyway to for it to be much of a surprise. So I'll talk with you guys about my idea now anyway, because I think it'll be pretty cool. What are these things? for whatever reasons. So my idea is sort of how like I have this interactive chat thing now, like with the LEDs and whatnot. I thought it would be hilarious and or awesome to give you guys the ability to scare me in addition to playing the game, which is already scary. So I was go well I'm I was going to as in I'm going to try to. I, I hope I have time to do it. Rig up some uh, subtle and not so subtle scares. So, things like um, like a servo on the ceiling that has like a little piece of thread that sort of brushes my neck. Uh, maybe like a, a vibration motor. Um, oh, I should have jumped on this from the top. To, to like buzz the chair. Um, if I end up playing Silent Hill, I thought it'd be cool to do uh, um, like the radio static. So like I think there's a monster around, but it's really not. And I'll have it throttled so that people can't spam it or whatever, but I thought that'd be really cool to sort of let people, um, control that to some degree. Sort of like Twitch plays Pokemon, but more like Twitch scares poor guy trying to play Silent Hill 2 and finish it for the first time. Do I have to get on this thing? And I was thinking about have, like, having, like, incentives, you know, so, f like, people that have been followers for a long time, like, pretty much both of you guys, um, I'm just gonna have it, like, set for, like, a week or whatever, because it's not like I've been streaming forever, um, but those people would have, like, more weight to decide on scary things that happen, and then there'd be, like, incentives for people who are followers, um, versus just being a viewer, blah blah blah, stupid stuff. I think it'd be kind of fun. Oh, I already have those. Let's do this again. Alright. Just here? Oh, so close. We'll try one more time and then we're gonna give up. Cause... I feel like... I still need to get something to put in that picture frame. something to do with this. Anybody rock it? state here so I don't have to do this a million times over. Do the 
it back upstairs. Back upstairs, back upstairs. Do, 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 do. What's. Nope, nothing there. Back upstairs. What is this? I jump on the bed. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with those too, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. need to find another painting of those guys and put it in this thing. Oh. Okay, apparently I had the thing the whole time. Safe city. And also, turn the timer on. Timer to timer to timer. Speed run a game, I'll definitely use it. I'm just using it to keep track of what world we're on. Maybe I'll just write my own. It's like a, I think it'd be cooler as just like a progress bar, so you just see like a you know percentage down at the bottom. Maybe I'll just write my own. Like I do a lot of coding, I can definitely do it, but I'm super lazy, and if somebody else says something that's close, I usually use it. Look, it's it's a thing. I'm sorry, we must be in a dire situation. I don't know what to say. Okay. I'm gonna go beat Tubba Bubba. Now I got a ghost. Quaha! Uh, let's explore a little bit. Really? Nothing up here? Tisk tisk, Mario. Come on. You've got to reward the OCD people who can't not look at things. I think I came in at this room. Let's go over here. But I'd probably go to the same room. Yep. Same. And I just drop down. Ugh. No fall damage, I guess. What's up, man? So if you guys can think of any sort of stuff that you think would be cool to scare me with or do or interact or anything like that, let me know because I will definitely try them out. One of the things that I'm so interested in Twitch about is like this whole interactive experience. Like it's it's really cool to me. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Long boots. Mario is actually shell. Back in the desert? No. Oh. But I want OP turtle. The <laughs> dude is next sure. Who is that? <laughs> the 
Yeah, it may, uh, I don't know if I have enough of that to, uh, to really fill an entire room. We have some CO2 canisters. I was thinking about, yeah, I was thinking about using CO2 as just a, um, you know, like a surprise air burst in my face type thing. Oh, man. Mario's OP now with his jump. HP and I hit him for two fives. How did he not die? Time to hit all you dudes in the air. Um, well, I guess we're just gonna take you out one at a time. mixture uh, to those non-nerds in the chat. It's a safe mixture of CO2. I'll get that crap out of here. It's a safe mixture of CO2 and oxygen at just the right concentration that your brain, your body's getting plenty of oxygen, so it's not uh, unsafe or unhealthy in any way. But it's also not getting enough oxygen, or it's getting plenty of oxygen, but it's getting enough CO2 that it also freaks your body out and thinks that you're suffocating. Because the only time you ever really get that much CO2 is when you have been holding your breath and not getting enough oxygen because your body eats up all the oxygen and it leaves behind the CO2, so that's what's left in your lungs. So I've tried this on myself because I'm sort of, I did this whole like experiment with haunted houses and all these people afraid. And uh, you, you breathe this mixture in, so I, I mi mixed the CO2 from the soda stream can canister, and uh, I bought canned oxygen online, which believe it or not you can buy, and uh, both me and my wife tried it, because we're both giant science nerds, and it's surprising, like the very first breath, you feel like you've been holding your breath for about a minute, the second breath, you would feel like you're going to die, even though you completely know everything's fine. It's a super weird experience. I just do this farm experience. As long as I get everybody on the ground, quick. Use this dude. Um, I don't want to waste the 
PowerShell. Yeah, normally I just smash my way through it, but I figure this time they're like obviously everyone was giving me hints there, so it's like, eh, let's save ourselves some time. Let's go get him. Sixty. Oh, I guess I didn't mean to do that. Uh, 
can't I? I think I can hit these guys now. Yeah. What does she do? Smack. Alright, smack. Well, that sucked. Uh oh. He's hyper. Uh, let's hit him again. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems like it just died again. Uh. Just trying to get busy. Oh. This guy. OP Turtle. Go get it. Yeah, it's me. What is this? Oh, if it works, screw that. Throw it away. I got Turtle Man's for that. Let's keep on that for a little while, see how she does. Oh.
thinking of playing some scary game. Uh, potentially maybe this weekend or just in the, no, in the future. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool? Uh, I'm definitely switching. Is this the parakeet? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking of doing... Dang it. Oh, no, I should have got around. Oh, whatever. I'm thinking of doing a interactive scare thing. So like, the way I have like these interactive lights here, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I did something like, uh, have like incentive levels and stuff, so people who have like followed me for a certain amount of time, and new followers, and maybe if you refer somebody in to chat or whatever, you'll get different like, uh, levels of getting a vote on stuff, but what you'd be voting on is methods that would scare me real world, outside of the game. So we're playing like Silent Hill 2 or something like that, and then uh, based on what the chat votes on and does, uh, stuff in the real world will ha happen to me, like the I'll put a vibrating motor in the seat and that will buzz and scare the crap out of me. I'll make, um, what is this? I thought there was one where you could attack everyone. Think of any any stuff that you think would be cool to, to scare me in the real world. I was thinking of playing Silent Hill 2, which I, I played a little bit of that game. I know when scary stuff happens, um, your radio that you carry with you makes static. So I thought it'd be cool to get that sample and let chat play that sound when there's no monsters around. So I'm like, where's the monster? Where? And there's, there's no monster anywhere. It's just, it's just chat being assholes. Boo. Oh. Oh. Come on. Beating you there. I really 
should still take him out though. Oh, that was wasted. Yeah, I should have taken out the I did more damage from that in the sky. <sighs> so it's up to you guys. You guys got any fun stuff you're doing or working on or any fun stories? all sorts of real world stuff that you're not going to be expecting when you're playing the game. Uh, what job are you looking for? Oh. And what are you hesitant about? More specifically, I guess. Bomb girl. Uh, but if I take her out, then these guys charge up and I'm screwed. Nah, let's just do power jumps. I have seen 
that. <laughs> I, I saw that linked on some of that next KCD comic that was on there.
missing bitches. They don't seem like they were affected by it at all.
do this. Jellyfish booze. Get out of here. No, I, I know what they are. That's what that booze dude was trying to tell me when I was reading when I actually wasn't reading. Whenever 
I get caught, just quick make myself invisible. These are the guys who used to go slowly around. for me.
Whatever. We got health. We got health for days. There was something pretty cool uh, that just happened my work recently. So, without getting too in-depth, essentially, my company is working with another company. So we'll, we'll call it Company A is me, Company B is the other company. So Company B says... Uh, company B, by the way, is huge. Um, and when, the minute we start doing business with them, we get crap tons of money. So Company B is like, Alright, we're not going to do stuff with you until XYZ happens. Because otherwise, we're going to have to pay millions of dollars in man hours to have people do this manually. And I'm a giant nerd and like to automate stuff, so my boss was like, Hey, how about we have Matt make do Matt, uh, make something that does all of that automatically? And I was like, yeah, we can do that. So I ended up making this stupid little, it was supposed to be a band-aid, um, a temporary solution until like Q3 of next year. Um, and everything looks like it's going pretty cool with that so far. And uh, I just got called into like a, a meeting earlier or later last week. And uh, they essentially said that our official fix isn't going to work as we thought. So we're pretty much going to be using my. Band-Aid fix. My Band-Aid fix is going to turn out to be, like, part of our actual product. Oh, nice. Your, your personal band? Like, uh, like not a jazz band or anything like that? Like a outside of school for fun band is playing with the pop band? May as well burn this guy too. Uh-oh. 
Sixty. Oh, I got hit. That's that. Let's do revert. Cause oh, I can just outrun them. Get up there. Uh, let's get something above. Uh, I should have just done the fall. That was risky. <sighs> what what songs do you guys play? Tell me you do some jungle boogie. Mushrooms. 
Safe state. No, I hit hammer. So in your face, I cheat. Four. You are definitely getting turtle. Oh, 
what's a video game if you're not cutting things close? Oof! <laughs> like that. <laughs> Is it me? Or do those chandelier things look like booze sticking their tongues out? I feel like this is broken for a reason. Okie doke. Coins that I can't get up on. Can't get up there. Can't get up there. Can't get up anywhere. The saddest thing in the world. Who wants to bet we get some ability later? It says jump higher. That's probably what those stupid purple things were downstairs. Do I want to jump down here? I just have to stay still. Oh, yes! I do want that. Now I gotta go all the way back up. Oh, now that I'm over here, let's get some more health. Healthy hell. No, that's what he said. That's what that dude sleeping was. He was above me. Very time. Health. You need it. So close. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, Neo, I don't think you were here when I was talking about it. I'm thinking about doing like an interactive, uh, playing scary video games while letting you guys not just change lights, but like actually do stuff in the real world to scare me. Like make a servo move or drop something on the floor next to me or... I don't know. If you guys think of any fun stuff you'd like to do... Uh, let me know, because I think this would be a really fun and unique Twitch experience thing. Right, I was gonna try a different server tonight and I forgot. Hold on, while we're here, let's see if I can change it in real time. I don't think you can. Uh, settings, broadcast settings. Uh, I'm gonna change it to. Which one? Let's do... Let's do New York. I honestly don't think it changes until... Um... Later, but... Thanks for watching, man. Hopefully I will see you later. Oh, I don't have to fight that guy. Turtle. 
so... Oh, it's okay, it's for Andis. I think I'm saying that right. I've got LEDs pointed directly in my face, so it's kind of hard for me to read some stuff. Honestly, I think it's servers, um, because I noticed other people, I was watching other uh, smaller streamers, and as you get bigger, I think they stick you on bigger servers, blah blah blah. Um, I think some of their servers are just getting a little overtaxed, because there's, you know, a lot of... Yeah, it, well, it could be your internet, it could be your route to get to uh, whatever stream server it is. Um, I switched it to uh, New York, so uh, tomorrow, if you're watching me, See if it's a little better. We'll do a little trial and error there. But otherwise, you know. Thanks for watching, man. I definitely feel you. I know it's super annoying to watch people who are buffering. I've watched a couple guys I like to support, and it's just, you know, you're missing stuff. It's not good. It's not good. Get out of here. Get out of here, cables. You got nothing. Do this thing, whatever that is. I can't. I can't use any of this. I already have maple syrup. Got a lot of it. Burns everyone. 15 HP. God damn. I got. I got none of it. Get out of here. I threw it away. I don't want you. I feel like I should have the boo out. That's that's just how crazy I am. Uh oh. I better hide. Let's go beat those guys up. So basically we have unlimited health right here. Bring it, son.
Video game nostalgia is so great. 1 game I'm really looking forward to going back and play- like this- most of these games are new. The whole point of me doing this whole stream thing is because I've- I've either never played these games at all or never finished them. But there's one game I'm really looking forward to going back and playing once I get a 3DS, The Ocarina of Time. That game is so good. That's actually, um, I don't know if you have one, but a Raspberry Pi. Oh, damn it. Raspberry Pis are awesome just to play with. Uh, learn Linux if you're already not familiar with Linux. Set up a home theater for like dirt cheap. Uh, there's a Twitch plugin for the Raspberry Pi that is awesome, and I use it all the time. Like, the first thing I do when I come home from work is just throw on Twitch and start watching somebody, to be honest. I'm throwing super mushrooms away now. I am like really. These are first world problems. Damn it. Well. Eh, let's switch around. Here, Koopa. We're gonna smash you. First one? Uh, and if, if you're playing, you don't have to answer me, but that game was pretty great. I love almost. Uh, I don't think I really disliked any of your games. Unfortunately, that's one of the ones that I never finished as well. I never finished Metal Gear 1. And I never finished Metal Gear Solid 4. And it's a shame, because I really like those games. Five. The newest one? The Phantom Pain? I didn't think that was out yet. Hell, but maybe that was just a little viral marketing campaign. All that 
grinding. Grinding the grinder steins. Round zero. That's a that's a different game. I'm gonna hold on a second. Hold on. So Ground Zero is out now. I mean, obviously you're playing it, um, but Phantom Pain is still coming out. That one looked cool to me. I haven't heard anything about uh, Ground Ground Zero, huh? Oh no, I did. Isn't that the one that has like a, a, a co-op or a multiplayer type thing? gonna wake some stuff up. Don't throw it You've got so much to live for. Uh yes, when you mail. Uh oh. Oh, 
Wow. Really? the server I'm on. Somebody else had an issue with it as well. I'll talk to you later.